Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to start actually building our movie database website. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm currently in week 9 folder, so let's make a directory called MovieDB. Let's cd into MovieDB and npm init to get started. Package name is fine, that's fine, that's fine. App.js is going to be our entry point and all the rest of them are fine. If I look, I now have my package.json file. Next step is to import the npm packages that I will need. So npm i for install, I'm going to need express, I'm going to need ejs, and I'm going to need node fetch. So it'll take a minute to install. Once they're done, I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. We have installed the package we need. So the next step is to create our app.js. So touch app.js, and then I want to open that up in my editor and go ahead and start importing all of our necessary imports. So const express equals require express const app equals express run as a function const fetch equals require node hyphen fetch and then we need to app.listen and we're listening on port 3000. Our callback function is just going to console.log movie db server running. So let's go ahead and try nodemon app.js to see if that works. Server is running. Now it's not going to work because we're, we don't have any routes yet, so it can't get anything but we did get an error so we know that the server is actually running and working as it's supposed to. And just to show you again in case you forget how to access your running um, URL, you go to project running URL import and it's listed right there. You just click there to open it up. So the first thing we need to do is make our first route. So app.get and we're going to make the slash movies route. Request response and right now we're just going to response.send movies route. Let's try and go there and see if it works. Yep, sure does. So we know our route is set up correctly. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to make an API call to the OpenMovie database. And it's just going to be static for right now. We're not going to take any user input yet. I'm just going to just be a static call and then I'm going to return some of that data. And so I just want to make sure it works basically. So we're going to fetch stuff. There's our the URL I'm going to use. The Open Movies API key is going to be my API key which I'm going to put up in a second and then the search is just going to be for Star Wars because I'm a nerd. So I need to have my API key. Const API key equals so now we're fetching that, and the next step after fetch is to do a dot then. So after we're fetching, our response is going to come into this function, and what do we want to do with it? Well, first, we want to do response.json. And here's a little trick you can do. You can get rid of all of this entirely and put this all on one line, just like that. The reason for this is because if you only have one line in your um, arrow function, it will automatically return whatever you that one line is. So that way you can just kind of make it a little bit shorter. Dot then our response. Right here, we're just going to res.send our response. And now you'll see that I'm, I'm having a problem because I have res here. I can't use the same um, variable there. So we'll just do data. How about that? and res.send that data. So what's happening here is we're making the API call. We are then taking that return data and turning it into JSON, kind of processing it as JSON to turn it into a JavaScript object. And then we are taking that data and res.sending that data. So let's go here to our, see if that works. Yep, we are sending the data on. 
notice that this is our website. This is not the OMDB website. So we are indeed sending that data on as JSON. So it is working. The last thing we need to do about this call is to do a catch in case something goes wrong. And we just want to res.send that error. And I'm going to clean this up as well. Res.send data. And again, this is just because it's a single line. As we start to do stuff with this data, it's going to be broken onto other lines. But let's try it again, make sure it still works. Sure does. We are good to go. In this video, we created a new Node app using npm init, installed Express, EJS, and Node Fetch. We added our boilerplate to the app so that it's set up and listening, and we created a single route that queries an API and sends the raw data to the end user. In the subsequent videos, we're going to actually start doing stuff with this data and sending it to the user in a much better format, much prettier, more user-friendly format. We're also going to allow the user to search the database. As always, if you have questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.